Today I'm going to be working on the power steering pump. I'm going to take it out, clean all the area around, change the filter, o-ring, and uh, hopefully that's going to be the last component to be overhauled before I put the tractor to work. So let's get to it. I never worked before on a pump like this one and uh, the first problem that I found is that if I remove this cover uh, to um, change the filter, this cover actually is hitting the starter so I cannot get access to the, uh, the filter. So it is possible to remove the filter and put it back but it's very difficult so I'm going to remove the entire pump and uh, take a look to it as well. Well, the filter is out. It definitely needed to be changed. So in order to reach one of the bolts, I have to use one of these uh, swivel socket. I don't know how to call it, but that will allow me to work at an angle. So if I'm not mistaken, there are only two bolts to get the pump removed. And of course the two hoses, the high pressure and low pressure, but only two bolts attaching the pump to the engine. All right, it came out. Is the pump loose? Looks like. There we go. Sweet. Boom. This is how it looks. I may have to get a new, a new seal. This is how it's looking so far. It's pretty clean now. But check this out. All these gravel came from that area. Some elbow grease here just cleaning around. Removing the uh, gasket. So there is some rust inside the cover that I'm going to have to clean. Nothing major though. After cleaning the pump, everything seems to be okay. I'm not going to open the pump itself because it seems to be working. I'm just going to clean it up and install a new component. Basically, I'm going to be putting a new Viton O-ring, a new oil filter, and I'm going to be making a new gasket. I'm going to see if I can make the gasket out of this piece which this material is way thicker than the, the original gasket, but that shouldn't be an issue. So I just cleaned the pump and the cover inside out, some blasted it, and uh, I'm gonna proceed installing the O-ring and the oil filter. All right, so first I'm gonna install the Viton O-ring, like so. All right, next I'm gonna install the filter. This filter is basically just hold by pressure by uh, this spring right here. All right, I'm gonna get some oil for the O-ring. Install the filter and this cover. Let's give this pump some luster. First primer. And now some color. So I'm back with the tractor and today I'm going to install the power steering pump that I, I have overhauled this week. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to put it back on and see how it works. I'm winning. I'm winning so far. Pump is secure in place. Next, I'm going to connect the hydraulic lines. All right, pumps in. Let's get some oil. So I'm going to pour oil until they start coming out. That, that's the level, which is going to be somewhere around here. This is it. 
So now everything is ready to, to work, but before I crank up the tractor, I'm going to uh, uh, disconnect the power line going to the hydraulic cylinders. Uh, I'm going to leave the tractor, turn the wheels left and right, and see I left the uh, oil coming through these lines. In case there is any impurity, it doesn't go into the cylinders that I just overhauled recently. So I put some Ziploc bags in the, at the end of the lines before it goes into the hydraulic cylinders just to catch any impurities before I reconnect it back. So I'm going to leave the track of the tractor so when I uh, start the engine I can uh, turn left and right the wheels easily. Alright, let's do this. Neutral, neutral. Yeah, so check this out. This is what I was talking about. Look at the color of this fluid. It's not very good. So I'm gonna replenish fluid here because the clean one is pushing the dirt one until I get clean fluid coming out of these pipes. Well, I'm gonna drop the tractor. Everything is connected on the uh, back on the hydraulic cylinders. I'm going to drop it and uh, take it for a spin and see if I have power steering. All right, let's see if it works. Because this is it. Tractor needs to go back to work. No power steering. I think because there is no oil in the system. Let's grab it around and bounce it. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Let's go back and put more oil. So I can feel the power steering working a little bit randomly, but I think it's because it needs a little bit more oil. Yes, it went all the way. Uh, we're winning, we're winning. So I think it's gonna be a few more times of refilling it until all the air comes out of the system. And eventually I believe the uh, power steering is gonna be working. So far, no leaks in the cylinders. Everything seems to be pretty tight. So let's keep doing it. Oh yeah, check this out. One finger. to go so much better blow it so finally the tractor is ready to work power steering is working so next weekend there is going to be a little bit of mowing and after that i'm going to be working on the fence drilling post so see you then thank you for watching